Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here with a new Q&A session for you from a name that you might actually have heard before. It might sound very familiar and that's because the question is from Jesse Shotland. Now Jesse's done a couple of videos for Geekanoids before and also if you want to see some awesome photography, this guy, Jesse, super, super talented. Really nice chap as well. Anyway, Jesse's question, why do you think cell phone cameras don't manually expose or shoot raw? And the second part of the question, why doesn't some company like Canon or Nikon collaborate with a manufacturer to produce a great phone with a great camera? Well, let's answer that first question. Why don't they manually expose or shoot raw? Well, manual exposure is a bit naughty, really. They should have developed something that would offer that feature. So yeah, I agree with you there. That should be in the current crop of smartphones or maybe it'll appear in the next generation. Why don't they shoot raw? Well, I think that's easier to answer. I think it's more to do with file size. If you've seen the size of some of these raw files that DSLRs produce, I know they're not gonna be quite as big on a mobile phone, but it's gonna take up all of the storage. If you've got a 16 gigabyte phone or a 32 gigabyte phone, it's gonna soon fill up. And even if you enabled something like cloud storage, you're still gonna have large files moving around and using up lots of data. So that's why I don't think they shoot raw. The second part of your question is very interesting, is about collaboration. Why don't Canon or Nikon or Olympus or, one, or even Sony sort of um, uh, collaborate with a mobile phone manufacturer? And Sony would be ideally placed to do this because they obviously make mobile phones already and produce a great camera phone with a great camera. Well, we've already got a great camera phone with a great camera in the form of the iPhone 4S. That's a great camera. And the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Again, awesome cameras. So we've already got that. But I think what you're looking for is the sort of quality of sensor that you get in an APS-C size censored camera. And I don't think you're ever gonna get that in a mobile phone. Now I sort of mentioned this in a previous video. I think the way forwards is for mobile phones to be integrated with cameras. So you'd have a camera without a, a back on it and you would slot in your smartphone to become the user interface for a camera. I can see that happening, but I can't see uh, a mobile phone ever offering up the same degree of quality that a DSLR or, or interchangeable lens compact would actually uh, deliver, purely because of the size of the technology. But it's a really interesting subject and something that we could talk about for absolutely hours um, and something that somebody should really grasp as well. There should be some clever manufacturer out there that sort of takes hold of this uh, uh, subject and really delivers an awesome product. It would sell in the millions if they did a good job for sure. So let me know what your thoughts are. You know, this is a, a great discussion. Leave me some comments in the comment section below and maybe I'll pick up this uh, video thread and do another video about it in the future. Please also leave me some new questions. Click like on this video, of course, and I'll see you all in the next video.